Hi, I'm Abhinand. I'm a PhD student in Mechanical Engineering at uh, Michigan State University. Um, I'm also a graduate research assistant at the Biomechanics uh, Design Research Laboratory there. And I'm a current Idea Studio resident at the Autodesk Gallery. So the project is related to a skin condition called pressure ulcers, uh, which is kind of a serious condition. Uh, pressure ulcers are caused by um, forces acting uh, on the body, which uh, causes changes in blood flow and that causes ulcers. So um, here we are trying to measure the blood flow changes uh, when different forces are applied on the forearm. The first phase involves importing MRI slices to form a 3D model. So we have uh, 50 slices of MRI um, for different cross sections of the forearm and these 50 slices are equally spaced from each other and they are 2D images. So in order to build a model we have to um, bring these together and make a 3D model from 2D slices. And so that is what um, I used Autodesk Inventor uh, for, to create a 3D model from um, cross sections of MRI slices which are 2D. Phase 2 of the project uh, is analysis of the model. The model we will be building is a poroelastic model, which means the forearm will be, think of it as approximating it to a sponge. And um, when you press a sponge, water diffuses um, across the cross section of the sponge. So that's exactly what will happen with the blood flow here. Uh, when you apply forces, blood diffuses uh, from the inside to the outside. Currently, there are two theories as to why, uh, how ulcers are formed and propagated. One theory says that ulcers um, start from the skin level and go uh, deep until the bone level. The other theory says that uh, ulcers start at the bone level and progresses outward. And so, information about blood flow changes from this model will, um, you know, give us more knowledge about how ulcers are formed which theory to follow or if both theories are possible.